it is Friday the 20th of July. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple of videos because <clears throat> I had a rather large thrift haul. Uh, so let's go over what um, I got this week. Uh, so I got this pair of vintage fingertip towels. Um, the turquoise and the avocado should give it away. They're in excellent shape. These are going to go in my booth and I've got them pressed and washed and ready to go. Just need to put a tag on them. I was at the by the pound store yesterday, 95 cents a pound at uh, Goodwill in London. So I managed to get a bunch of linens, uh, including these hankies. So there's this one, this one, this one, and... So these are all washed and starched and pressed, ready to go. Um, this set of pillowcases has um, embroidery all the way around the front, but I've got them washed and starched and packaged up. I just got to stick a price tag on them. Okay. Um, I love this box. I paid 50 cents for it. Uh, I think it was probably a planter or something because it's kind of got some kind of gunge going on here. But I'll clean it up and I would just put some stuff in it. It's cute. Looks like a little drawer. I got this tiny little toothpick holder. Uh, I think I paid a quarter for him. And the reason I got him is because I have three other uh, antique cars planters that are the same kind of style and they're in green and yellow. You've seen them in a previous haul. I got this glass. It has hyacinths on it. Uh, I paid 30 cents for that. Um, these three little pieces I haven't washed yet. So there's this piece of milk glass. I paid a quarter. This one um, was a dime, and this little bun piece was a quarter. Got this uh, cigar box at um, Goodwill, and it's in really good shape. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, it's not terribly old, but I like uh, the color and. Uh, the 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 um, laurel leaves. Another interesting packaging that I got. Look at that bruise. I got some blood work done yesterday. Yeah. Uh, is this um, package of clothes pegs? I've, they're filthy dirty, and but I thought, you know what, somebody might like that to put in their laundry room because we're, you know, we put so much focus on laundry rooms now. Uh, a little bit of Pyrex, just found the one teacup. A couple of other Pyrex mugs in the woodland um, pattern. Uh, I got these little guys, two of them, one in the, sort of the amber color and the other in... Um, Clear. And I think that's daisy and button pattern. I paid uh, 50 cents for each of these. Um, this I wasn't sure what I was getting until I got it home last night. It's a little apple juice pitcher. Um, I paid two dollars for it and it's marked Holt Howard 1962. It does have a little chip Two little chips on the bottom but otherwise this uh, little hole here it seems to be a flaw so I thought that was cute and look at this filthy old pie tin um, somebody's gonna love that and last but not least, I haven't uh, done my research in order to identify this yet, but I got this Pyrex Divided Dish. It's kind of a pale, pale, buttery yellow color with gold um, leaves. I'll have to do my research and figure out the who's, what's, where's. Okay. I think I've 
this might be my find of the week. So this is um, the tea leaf pattern. It is huge. Um, like for comparison, I know it's hard to sort of compare things, but for comparison, this is a teapot. Um, this is an ordinary sugar bowl. So this, I think you would call that a sugar jar. Um, I, the, actually, I'll show you this. This is an ironstone sugar bowl. It doesn't have a lid. I think I paid 50 cents for it. Um, it's too bad it doesn't have a lid, but I like it. This teapot uh, has sort of a, a hunt scene on it all the way around. And it is also ironstone. It's in excellent condition. Um, but this tea jar I got, it's not marked, or sorry, not tea jar, sugar jar. Um, I got this at the Salvation Army yesterday. It didn't have a price on it. And I thought, oh Lord, she's going to charge me a million dollars for it. But I took it up and I said, um, what do you think? And she said, uh, is five dollars too much? And I said, yeah. She said, okay, three. And I said, all right, I'll take it for three. Now, I know this was a very big collectible at one time. There was lots of people who collected tea leaf. And there was actually a ton of tea leaf there. So clearly somebody's grandma, you know, went to the home or whatever. And the kids had no idea what it was worth. None of it was priced. Um... I'm not sure what a big collectible it is now, so I didn't want to buy a whole lot. But I think uh, the shape, the condition, and the fact that this would go so well with um, other pieces of ironstone and you know that whole kind of vibe that going that's going on now. And I got a couple of pictures. They look straight out of 1940 to me. Um, that's the signature on them. I paid a dollar for each of them. So there's that one and then this one, that one has rose, roses and um, forget-me-nots. I wish I could do this better so that you could see it all in one fell swoop. Um, those will be going to the booth. I have some bigger pictures, so let's see if we can move some stuff and hold it back as far as possible. These, I, the, the backs of these pictures were in terrible shape, so I just cut some new craft paper and glued it on, cleaned up the frames, and let's see, how are we doing? No, that's not going to work. So they are, maybe if I move the camera, Nancy, hmm, let's try that. Okay, this might make a noise. Okay, so there is uh, the one with pink lilies, and I think that, I think you'd call that uh, Larkspur. And this one is, uh, Oh, I think that would be roses and snapdragons. Again, these are pretty retro, I would say 60s. And it's uh, all tiny little cross stitches. Somebody went to a lot of work. And I went to a lot of work too, tidying them up and making them really presentable and hangable. Okay, I might have just wrecked that whole video, but let's see. Um, also at the Buy the Pound store, I found this really cute sweater, um, and everything was 95 cents. And clothing, I think, is $1.95 a pound. But anyway, it's a very light cotton sweater. It was, it was $8 at the thrift store. Um, it's brand new with tags. Um, and I, try, I wasn't sure if it was going to fit or not. I tried it on last night. My husband thought it was really cute. And is begging me to throw out a sweater that I have that he hates. <laughs> uh, I got this Christmas um, hanging uppy thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
and just a pile of tissue paper in different colors. You know, so that's always handy for gifts and wrapping glass and that sort of thing. Okay, so that's my thrift haul for today. Um, actually not. Uh, that's my thrift haul for now. And I will come back later with another one shortly. I might, I might actually have three all together. Alrighty, we'll talk to you again soon.